Hello and welcome to the MBS Show, episode number 273. I am your host, Norman Sanzo. Joining me today is Starstream. Hello everyone, how are you doing? Fine, fine, how are you doing? Great, just been the same. Alright, alright. And also joining us today is Twilight Genesis. G'day. Hello man, how are you doing? I'm alright, how about yourself, Norman? Oh, I'm feeling derps. Like there's a lot of derp today. Intro was a bigger fumble because I forgot who name is. Oh uh, wow, so fumble. But anyway, uh, today we have a jam-packed episode full of news, and let's get right to it. So season seven is not over yet, as you can tell, because what we are we we hit episode ten, the last one that was officially aired on Discovery. Yes. Oh, wasn't it episode 11? 11? Wait, no, 10. I, I'm trying to remember because there was two extra ones aired in Australia. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm ahead of you all for once. Yeah. I, I forgot. It doesn't say the number here, but I think it's 10 because I remember last episode or last season, we ended at 10, which was the one where we knew Indian ponies exist. But anywho, um, if I'm wrong, 10 or 11. So we ended at around that. And the hiatus is a while, but not that long because we discovered that the hiatus is going to end on August 5th. And here's the kicker. We're going to get two episodes this time, back to back. So that's going to be cool. Ah, uh, I, I can't wait for it. I mean, I've already seen the episodes because they aired here early, yeah. but hopefully I can use this as an excuse for another Bernie meetup. <laughs> Yay! That'll be cool. That'll be cool. So the episode is Discarded Harmony and The Perfect Pair. So if you guys have watched this episode, please no spoilers. For people who haven't, time to get hyped because the hiatus is going to end soon. Really, really soon. So um, Star, you, you've been quiet. Yeah, I, I'm excited for it. I just checked MLP Wiki and it just said that it's episode 12 and 13. Ah, 12, 13. So it was 11 then. All right, all right. Yeah, we ended on the 11 with the pinky at the, went to Yekisen. Oh, that one. Oh, that one. But uh, that, that's another topic for another day, but still. Yeah. Um, is gonna end. So this is cool. This is cool. Yeah. Um, from what I'm seeing here, there's a lot of, um, listings, like the one that I'm a bit disappointed that we might not catch pretty soon is on the 19. And well, the reason for that is we're going to a con. So, Boo. Oh, you never know. They might have a, a panel or something up, uh, a reviewing room, and have it streamed. Maybe. I, I don't know. Pro- probably. No promises. But still, um, that would be cool if uh, we did get to watch it early, uh, kind of, in a live room, probably. But still, that's besides the point. And let's carry on with more news with Season 7 involved. And... Since we already know when Season 7 is going to come out, we're going to... Of course, they're going to show us some trailers. And it seems that Discovery Channel recently released a trailer on their YouTube or the channel itself. And there's a few glimpse of upcoming episodes. Like, I think that Campfire episode? I forgot what it's called. Campfire Tales? Yeah, that one, that one. And also a few songs in it. And one of the biggest surprises that surprised me was the tie-in with Legends of Magic. So for you guys at home who got no idea what Legends of Magic is, um, it's a My Little Pony comic line where the main focus for this one is Sunburst going to the Royal Library, um, reading up books about um, the equestrian heroes of past. Um, stories from Star Sword the Bearded to uh, the heroes. Um, in the comic itself, it tells the story about the pony's adventure after what happened. And I've always had this thought in my mind where wouldn't it be awesome to check out the story or check out an episode where they fight quote unquote things? Like there's this one pony Flash something, he fought dragons, but in the comic he saved griffins, something like that. So, I guess I'm getting my wish. So, yay! I have never heard of the Legends of Magic before these news articles came out. 
and I am really tempted to go dig them up and read them. Oh, you should. It's a really fun read. Like, um, there's, I think, um, uh, four out now, if I'm not mistaken, and they're all good. They're really interesting. If I'm not mistaken, they were actually the, after the, what was it? The Friends Forever series that they released this? Yes, it was after the Friends Forever series. And it seems that, well, as we talk about it more, um, the comics here seems to be tying to the finale of season seven. And this is kind of a shock to me because this is the first time that they're doing something like this. So, wow. I, I can't wait to see what they really do. I thought they did it before with the, was it the 51 to 53? Did that really tie that in? Honestly, I got no idea because the speculation for that one is, could be the new villain for the season. But it's not that blatant. But now with, uh, the Legends of Magic here, it's really blatant. Like, okay, here is the Heroes of Past. And the main three here, Rainbow Dash, Rarity, and Applejack are telling campfire stories about them. And here's what happened to them after that. So this is kind of a interesting tie-in going on. And I think this is the first time we're getting it to realization. But beyond that, if the comic from 51 to 53 has a proper tie-in to what's going on in the episode, then it's not showing up till later. But still, I do like what they're doing here. This is really interesting. And, well, I've been talking a lot. Um, guys, what do you think? To make it easier, Twy, you go first. I am just in very interested in seeing what we get. I, I've been out of the loop of the comics for ages and just been watching the show, so anything to do with anything outside of the show is completely new territory for me. All right, all right. And what about you, Star? I have to agree with Twy. I also kind of out of the loop with the comics, but since they doing it like in this kind of method, so I guess that's one way for us to, well, make us get the comics and try to catch up to, to the episodes. You know what? I, I think there's always been Hasbro's deal, like trying to get the audience who watch the episode to read the comics because the comics are fun. And you know what? I think you should guys should because... What's a better way to start than the Legends of Magic? It's a really good place to start because, well, like I mentioned before, after watching the episode, you get right into this. So, yay, um, that's something to look forward to. So, after that, I'm um, sticking on to season seven. Um, we got a tweet from Daniel Ingram saying that he's working on season seven episode mix. So this means that season 7 is not done yet. Oh wow. Kind of interesting. Wait, wasn't it mentioning it before, way back then, when they say that someone, which artist, uh, wait, was it the writer mentioned that it takes at least eight, 8 weeks to draft up the whole, to do the whole thing? Mm, I'm not 100% sure, but like, like I said, I'm not 100% sure, I don't really know. But it shows here because... Um, Daniel Ingram says he's just working on the mixing for the episode. So what does that really mean? What does that entail? Because this could mean that there's a lot of episodes coming out then, like, or, or there's a lot of episodes in the works. And also, um, he's doing season eight stuff too. So, so get hyped for that. I'd yep. say a se season seven episode mix, uh, sounds like it's a mix of stuff that we'll probably he have heard throughout season seven as opposed to something for a specific Season 7 episode. Probably. I'd say they've probably finished most of the episodes at this point already. Hmm, probably, probably. Oh, not forgetting uh, final music dub for the big movie. <laughs> wow, he's busy. Well, he's quite popular, so of course he's going to be busy. True that, true that. Oh, well, can't say much about this one. Um, all we can do is wait and see. And talking about seas... Do you guys like sea ponies? Yeah. Of course I like sea ponies. Shoop be doo, doop doop be doo. Because, well, <laughs> uh, at this year's San Diego Comic Con, uh, Hasbro has his own booth, and they have an exclusive poster. Wow, this is much better than what we've gotten before. Yep. 
It's pretty good. I still like the poster that we looked at last time I was on the show. Last week, then? Yes. That was a great poster. Yeah, I do agree. This one's still good, but I prefer the other one. This one is too spoilerish, I think. I think right about now, it's not that big of a spoiler because everybody knows their sea ponies by now because of the trailers and whatnot. And I do like this poster better because Andrew Lippmann, Ashley Ball, Katie Westlock, Tabitha St. Germain, and Tara Strong, their names are up there. So that's cool. Yeah, I, I, I feel like this poster might have been made for the fandom just considering how much of the fandom uh, whined about the, the the main cast VAs not having their names in big on the on the movie posters uh, so far. I wouldn't say that I whine, but still. <laughs> so, Star, what about you? You haven't seen much about this poster. Um, well, ain't much for me to say, but I do like the poster, and I just can't get over with how they put the cutie marks on the. Was it the fins? Uh, yeah, it looks like one of the fins. I'd say yeah. probably dorsal fin. Mm, maybe. Yeah, mm. still. I, I don't mind. It's not permanent, so yeah, <laughs> I don't mind. Uh, yeah, I, I know the same, but it's just... Mm, it's kind of interesting with how they use their own... What do you call their main color and just have the cutie mark on there. Yeah, true. But still, it's all good. It's all good. But talking about spoilers... The next up news that we have here is My Little Pony Pirate Logo Edition. Yar? Yar. <laughs> so, okay, um, this is, uh, well, technically not a huge spoiler, but what? <laughs> this poster or this thing is more hype. What? Uh, it is a pretty badass poster. <laughs> is that really a poster? That's the question. Uh, I don't know. It looks like a Facebook banner too. I mean, uh, lo- logo. Yeah, it's, it's like a banner more than a poster. But still, I like yeah. it. I, I really, really like it. I I hope those costumes are in the movie because those are some cool costumes. Oh, it is. It is. It, there's one scene where you get to see Rainbow Dash having a sword fight with one of the parrots. I don't know. They, are they called hippogriffs or what? Because no, uh, no, nah, I'm. Fairly sure they are just parrots. I'm pretty sure they're just anthropomorphized parrots. Uh, last I checked. Yeah, I remember something like that too. So yeah, let's go with pi- uh, parrots. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so is it wrong for me to say that's Polly want a cracker? <laughs> <laughs> uh, they might mo- they might make you walk the plank for that. Oh <laughs> uh, well, but yeah, still this poster or this banner here it looks awesome, but. One thing I don't really get is the Chinese. So probably something, something, something. Star, you got any idea what that yeah. is? Uh, not really. I, I, my, my Mandarin is quite terrible, so I can't really do any help with that. All righty then. All right then. I can read the first two. It's translated to small horse. Oh, so basically it's the what you call this? My Little Pony in Chinese then? No. No, it's something about the movie thing. Probably, but. Still, yeah. um, for any Chinese speaker out, you know what? I think Seppi does know a bit of Chinese. I'll ask her when she's free. But anywho, let's move on to the next news. Um, this one is a bit out of it, so I'm gonna do a bit of a coin toss because, um, let's go for pony related stuff first because the last one I'm gonna put is kind of out, out there. So, we got this convention coming up soon called Hascon. It's a convention from Hasbro. They're doing their own convention, finally. They have a lot of swag. If I do remember right, they have 10% off their thing. Not really 10 I think $10 and $20 for adult and child tickets, something like that. It doesn't really matter because what does matter is the swag. Yeah, they have a lot of nice merchandise. Which I hope we can get it eventually. Uh, eBay scalpers. Yeah. Oh god. No, don't remind me of eBay scalpers. <laughs> <sighs> it's always a pain to hear about those. True, true. But still, um, one thing I have to say that I'm very excited for is the Friendship is Magic D&D dice set box thingy. That looks good and awesome. I want it. 
Well, it looks like it's from that episode, the one where the Spike and the male friends all hang out together. <laughs> not really, not hundred percent. Um, in all... it's got Rainbow Dash in the in the, in the costume from that episode, but yeah, Pinky is in a completely different costume. I, I think her character moved on, and she had to reroll. Probably she's a barbarian. <laughs> oh, she is a barbarian. Definitely barbarian there. Yep. Not the Bart. No, the Bart is uh, allocated to probably Rarity. No, um, because Rarity look like a mage. No, Twilight's a mage. She, she, she could be a, a rogue or she could be a, a different kind of mage. What about Applejack? What is she? Archer. Possibly a ranger. 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 I can see Applejack being a ranger rather than a fighter. Uh, probably. Fluttershy is a druid. Oh, yeah. Absolutely 100% a druid. Oh, yep, totally, totally. But anywho, back on topic. Uh, this image here is not the first time that you guys are seeing this. Uh, they did it before with a t-shirt and I bought that t-shirt. Uh, I think it was $10 or something like that for charity at the same time too. So, mm. yay, I, I got the t-shirt. It's fun. It was nice. And friendship and magic is how we roll. So now you get the dice. So if you guys play D&D, I know you do Twy, you can bring out this dice set and it's Pink too, so yay! Annoy your DM with this. Well, it's oh, also I will. useful. Sorry. It, well, it's also useful for especially Tales of Equestria. Oh yeah, that too, that too. Which I still need to get my hands on. Oh yes. And I'm still waiting for my Curse of the Statuettes. Oh look at you, Mister! I have all the books now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but still, um, that's available at Hashcon. If any of you guys is going, uh, do get a chance to buy it because it's much awesome. And last news for today is, well, who here has an Xbox? I don't. You don't? My brothers do. Is it the Xbox One? Yes. Oh god. They have like three of them. What? Why three? Well, we tend to buy extra Xboxes when the previous ones break. We had like a dozen Xbox 360s. Oh yeah, the 360, obvious. But why the one? Like I thought one was stable. You never know. <laughs> we we I, they might just have two, but I feel like we probably have a third one for some for some reason. <laughs> it would not surprise me. Oh boys, but anywho, it seems that with Xboxes, there's still errors somehow and. One here says mock error title. Um, I'm not 100% sure what kind of error this is. I didn't really go looking tr- too deep for what this is. But still, this error here has a really interesting, uh, what do you call this, um, error text? Uh, Twy, why don't you read it? Okay. The error text reads, This would be some long description about the error. Read it and weep. And if you haven't looked up this this phrase on the internet before, please do. You'll find a My Little Pony episode called Read It and Weep. Cloud Chasers and Wonderbolts, you'll never be forgotten. <laughs> wow, okay. What? I, well, I, I have nothing against people spreading spreading the joy of MLP in, in, in subtle, cheeky ways, as long as they're not trying to rub it in people's faces. But what? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I enjoy the fact that this was uh, a mock error uh, that was it was never meant to be uh, displayed on actual Xboxes, oh. and obviously an actual error has happened, and now it is being displayed. <laughs> uh, well, which is kind of ironic. True, but still, this is this is cool. You know, like I I know there's someone working in. Um, Microsoft, who's a brony and working in the QA department or something like that, and they're just putting this mock error test to just, you know, test things out. But, huh, it, it seems that said mock error is a real error, like you said, why? And yeah, hmm. <laughs> I like this. This is fun. Yeah, this is such a cool one. Yeah. Though I, I wonder why they do it like really a week. Is that? I wonder if there's a reason behind that. I mean, if any players found out this kind of error, would they like? Nah, I think it's because of the phrase. Um, there would be some long description about the error. Read and weep. So basically, it's so long you TLDR. won't really yeah TLDR. So read and weep. And if 
for younger people who haven't heard the phrase before, they go Google it and they see My Little Pony. Yeah, it, it, it's something uh, tongue in cheek, but still, um, it's fun. It's fun. But in all essence, is kind of promoting the show in some shape or form. Yay! Well, they've been promoting the show all this time. I mean, with all the MLP avatar and oh, whatnot. Oh, true, true, true. This is taking one step further. <laughs> uh, but still, but still. So, anywho, um, let's head on to the next topic. And next topic is what have we been doing with our week? So, Star, what about you, man? How has this week been treating you? My week has been the same. It's just, oh, overall, just a much harder, to be honest. It's just having, uh, let me check what has been me up to. Uh, it's just been a lot busy at work. It's some kind of, uh, some kind of heavy things going on. And so I have to do a bit of the compilation for documents and stuff and whatnot. And for overall, gaming wise, not much difference. Tech, nothing much. Mm. Overall, it's just been waiting for stuff right now. Uh, waiting for your shirt or something like that? Yeah, just trying to wait for my shirt. Well, hope it arrives this time. And the book? Is going to be on and the crystal statuettes, yeah, I'm, I'm well waiting for the board, the board, board game itself. Uh. From what I look from it, it just looks like a, what do you call it, they're gonna ship in the box with a lot of stuff in it. So it's not just the book, maybe with the GM screen, with the dices and all these things. So yeah, it's one whole package. Well, if it's possible, uh, let Twy read it, let him understand and he can be the DM for us. We can do it something special <laughs> at, uh, SeaponyCon. Yay. Yeah, I mean, I, I do, do hope we get to. I do hope we can get to watch the new episode on the during Sea Pony Con. Oh yeah, I, I do hope that too. But I won't be too expecting of it because you know, uh, con life, con stuff, uh, con environment. So expect not to watch it. But at the same time, too, uh, it's going to sh- it's going to be airing live at twelve thirty local time. Not twelve thirty. I think if I'm not mistaken, if I calculate the time, because normally when here when we watch the show, it's about eleven thirty yeah, p.m. Eleven thirty p.m. So it's it, if it's in Thailand time, that's about ten thirty p.m. Uh, are they so hour back from us or hour forward from us? They're hour forward, right? No, they're slower one hour from us. Oh, okay. Yeah, they're they're, they're backwards, so we're we're ahead of them in time. Oh, okay, cool. That means and... it's possible. Yay. Yeah, and from the looks of the title, it's a bit of a interesting thing happening also in the world of the ponies. Yep. yep. <laughs> Reading from the description. If we get to watch it, we get to watch it because another factor you guys have to remember is internet. If we don't get internet, we get no episodes. <laughs> well, if we can get it from the hotel room, that would be nice. I mean, yeah, but you have to remember internet hotel is not the best. <laughs> well, it's not like we're going to watch 1080p inside the hotel room, right? Says you. <laughs> well, then again, even no mistake, we still need to pay for the internet. So yeah, true. We 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 we'll we'll see, see. We'll see when we will see when we get there. Yeah. yeah. We'll we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. But anywho, um, Twy, what about you? I don't know. It depends on who's got a laptop. If we get to watch it, <laughs> uh, probably I will bring a laptop because of panels and stuff. Probably I really don't want to carry that heavy piece of a machine. Oh. Yeah. But still, uh, well, once we get there, I can carry it. <laughs> uh, but now, nah, see, carrying it at the con and whatnot is not going to be a hassle. Uh, the hassle is when you have to go through airport and have to pull that beast out for scanning and whatnot. And trust me, that is not going to be fun. <laughs> what kind of laptop is it? Uh, um, Asus ROG gaming laptop, seventeen oh. inch. Oh, never mind. Yeah. <laughs> That's a huge one. Yeah. <laughs> it's not even the newer one where it's tin. No, no, no. I, I had to buy the one with the two big fans in it. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> uh, well, still, putting that aside, uh, nothing else, Toy? Uh, well, from the con, I'm mostly looking forward to being on the panel and meeting all the new people. Awesome, yeah. awesome, awesome. So, well, as for me, for this week, uh, let's see. Honestly, I've done nothing special in terms of entertainment. Just, you know, the Overwatch, PDs, YouTubes. But one thing in terms of food, Malaysia here, or Malaysia's KFC here, 
has this special promotion where we have this burger called the Double Down. Oh, we have them here also. Oh, really now? Okay. <laughs> yeah. You, you guys got the KFC's Double Down again? I have to check KFC here now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm guessing everybody here, uh, all three of us know what is the KFC Double Down. But for you guys at home who got no idea, here's a brief explanation of what it is. It is a turkey bacon strip covered in cheese sandwich in between two Zinger burger patties. And that's about it. I think the easiest with, with way barbecue to say sauce. It, uh, depends. I'm not 100 sure if we got barbecue sauce. We have barbecue easiest... sauce on our stand here. Oh, okay, cool. Sorry, uh, stop. Uh, I think the easiest way to say it is just basically it's a zinger burger with rather than having two buns, they just switch it to a fried chicken patty. Oh yeah, not really because the sandwich itself is just the um, turkey bacon strip. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> so essentially, yeah. you get one single burger patty, one uh, turkey bacon, and another single burger patty, and that's your sandwich. And it's a meaty, meaty, heavy. Very meaty. <laughs> like all meat, I, I no buns. If I'm not mistaken, I had it before. I can't remember where I had it. I think I had it last year when I was, I think when I was in Korea or something. Oh, what? Did they have it in Korea too? Whoa, last time. Not about now. Yeah, I know. And then, still. well, my latest escapade was basically I had a KFC burger in Thailand where I have, it's, it's not a double down. It's, uh, what do you call it? It's a spicy black bun burger. <laughs> oh, dude. I think they have it in, uh, what you might call this Burger King too. But you know what? This got me curious and I'm looking at it on Google for KFC double down. And it seems that this is not the first time or First place. I mean, um, Malaysia just got it three years in a row. But other than that, um, yeah, this is one of the products that it's all over the place. Yeah, we've been getting them at KFC here since at least once a year since uh, 2011, maybe 2010. Yeah, I think we started getting them in 2010. We call them the heart attack burgers. <laughs> yeah, I know what oh, you God. mean. Okay, um, after doing a bit of Google search on the Wikipedia, um, it seems that the sandwich itself is available in South Africa, Japan, Singapore, Malaysia, Philippines, South Korea, Denmark, Germany, France, and Spain, um, Canada, US, and Australia, and New Zealand. So, yeah, um, it seems that it's almost all over the place. And Americans have it too. And I just want to, I'm scared to check out the um, nutritional analyst. Like, I'm so scared. <laughs> Don't. Okay, let's see, let's see. Okay, double down. Um, 800 calories. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh wow, okay, that is a meaty meaty sandwich. <clears throat> so, um, pro tip, after eating this, rest for a bit, exercise. Lots and lots of exercise. <laughs> I think the most I've eaten in one sitting was three. Oh, God. <laughs> most people feel like they're going to die from eating <laughs> one. I'm just like, these are so, so delicious. I just can't stop at one. Uh, Ouch. I, I, I ate one, and I, I, I think my limit is two a day because I can have it for lunch and dinner. But dinner is late dinner around 10 or so. But dang. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, that's besides the point. Uh, that's been my week. So, that's very, very interesting. So, anywho, uh, if you guys have any questions, concerns for my dietary and suggestions for the show, you can contact us at mbsshowgmail.com. You can also reach us on the Twitters. The show's Twitter account is at mbsshow, and my personal Twitter is at Norman Sanzo. And what about you guys? Um, Twy? You can find me on Film Fiction and DeviantArt under Twilight Genesis. You can find me on Facebook and YouTube under Double Pint Productions. And you can tweet at me on Twitter at Midnight underscore Pint. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And what about you, Star? Uh, people can find me on my DeviantArt, AngelicorXX, where I post my pictures of my plushies. Well, recently I just got my Big Mac. Oh, wow. <laughs> And that's the Bill Bear one, right? Yeah, the Bill Bear one. Alrighty then. 
And well, for you guys at home who are attending SiponyCon in Bangkok, Thailand on the 19th and 20th of August, we will be there. Um, say hello, catch us, yep. take a picture with us, talk with us. We will be there and we'll be, well, hanging around doing convention stuff, looking at booths and attending panels and stuff. And if you do catch us around, do say hello. You'll probably recognize me by my t-shirt because I will be wearing the MBS show logo, which is the um, picture you're looking at now if you're checking it on the YouTubes. So yeah, I'll be having, or I'll be wearing a t-shirt like that so you can easily recognize me. And also please subscribe and rate us on iTunes, YouTube and Stitcher Radio and also like our Facebook page. You can also catch us on PonyvoLife.com. Links will be in the show notes. And we have this new thing that we've been doing, the NBA Show Reviews and Discussion Podcast, available on iTunes and Stitcher Radio. Over there, you can catch me, Silver Quill, and also several heart songs, reviewing pony episodes, comics, and movies, and also other things like, let's say, Dragon Ball Super, or Batman, or probably even Superman. Now we need a Marvel character to put in the balance there. So... Do catch us over there. And if you'd like to support the show, you can do so at patreon.com slash the MBS show, where every support will get you full access to the deleted content and early access to the review and discussion podcasts. And also a huge thank you from me. And talking about thank yous, I would like to thank Lurker Cat, Twilight Genesis, Namdragatoria, Starstream, Master of Leg, and also Jeffrey. Thank you all for the support. You're welcome, Norman. Yay. You're welcome, man. Anyway, I have been Norman Sanzo. I've been Twilight Genesis. This is Last Dream. And we'll guys catch you next week with another fun episode of the NBS show. See ya. Cheers. Cheers.